Me not strong. Me not know how to fold. You don't have to call, sir. You can just let it go. I thought I had the best hand. Not true. Wow, look at that, guys. Oh, my lord. So Phil Luck is a character. He is a vocal force at the table. As a player, his approach to the game is pretty solid. He follows the ABCs. However, every now and then, he is known for running ridiculously crazy bluffs. So in this compilation, we put together some of Phil Luck's finest moments. We should never have said it near Phil. Now he's anxious to try out his new toy. Are they talking about three betting or his speak and spell? C-A-L-L. -L. And Rast calls. I had a feeling that was going to happen. No seven deuce rule on this show. This is the one with the loose cannon. Jack five, nine, two hearts. Rast pairs is five. Lock bets out 6,400 with seven high. I guess you only hurt the ones you love. I think Phil Locke's going to be moving down on Brian Rast's speed dial. He calls. Rasty. Crafty Rasty's in there. To the turn, 10 of clubs. Phil picks up a gut shot. Phil knew going into this, he'd likely have to bluff this hand. 22,400. And he bets 22,400, and Rast quickly folds. I like showed a him. bull you are, Phil Locke. Just push, push. I thought, I thought I had the best hand. Not true. You probably did. And not true. Hero at heart. I wanted to be a hero. Yeah, I just wanted to be a hero. It's true. He did want to be a hero. You were trying to show off. It's true. I'm like, that's why. Action will start on the cannon with ace three. She lays it down. Now I'm going to try and show off, too. Check me out, huh? Is that sexy? <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> I know. Daniel's raised. Uh-oh. Lock re-raises with ace deuce. Nano Noko, 9-8, lays it down. 9-7 for Solomon, out. This is 33. You already know what I'm going to do. It's pretty much what I always do. Daniel calls. Daniel actually thinks the words to that Stevie Wonder song are, I just called, and that's it. Flop is 9-3-7. Daniel flops a gut shot. And checks. 65. Phil's ace is best. It's a lot of, a lot of heat. A lot of heat, Mr. Luck. Daniel gets himself into these situations where he calls pre-flop and then feels he has to call the flop. Now facing a $6,500 bet. Definitely not folding. I can promise you that. Ob. Be my card. Be the one I want. He just calls. Eight of hearts on the turn. Daniel checks. 18-4. Lock bets 18,400. That looks like such a card I would want. It's actually not even remotely a card he would want. Not only did he miss, but now he's drawing to the dummy end of a four card straight. Meanwhile, Phil Locks bluffing with the best of it. All right, take it down. Negreanu folds. I have a feeling Phil Lock has something here. I thought I had the best hand. You did. You did. You definitely had. I can guarantee you had the best hand. Only I will know. Oh, I know we had the best hand. Did you see my hands? <laughs> I saw your hands. You sick pup. <laughs> King Queen for Phil Locke. Min raises. Bryn Kenny out. What are you waiting for? What am I waiting Kings? for? What? I'm in there. Can I get three? <laughs> Bryn's run a couple of nice bluffs. He just hasn't gone and blogged about them yet. Lou raises the 3,000 with the 10 7, and the action's on the cannon. 10 4 of spades. Folds. Negrano with queen 10. Daniel's out of position. And out of the hand. And Locke calls. Standard call against a guy who three bets constantly. To the flop for a six, two hearts. Locke checks. Randy's got a flush draw. Should be more than enough reason to continue. And it is. Bets 4,400. Phil's actually got the best hand, and he's seen Nano come out swinging plenty. Chinese poker. And Locke raises to 11-2. With the profit pile, having even cut into this. So this could be gamble. This could be gamble time. 11-2? 11-2 total. Uh, I call. And Lou calls. I like Phil's raise. He knows Nano doesn't need to have an ace to three bet or to continue. It's a very wet board. Randy, on the other hand, pretty confident his hearts are live. Deuce of clubs on the turn. Big brick. Check. Lock checks. Lou checks. Randy gets a free card. Eight of diamonds on the river. 42,000. Phil Locke bets 42,000. Phil Locke has unibombed the river. And Lou is out. Look at Locke just swinging. Swinging for the fences. You're in that mood all of a sudden. 
I thought that was the right amount to put out. You're you play based on mood. I know that already. Come on. A lot of mood. A lot of mood. You're in that mood to just bet. Okay, baby. okay, a little bit of that's true. Up. I'm trying to find spots to put money in. It's true. Daniel on the button raises to 3,500. Doyle folds. Right, Ace queen for Phil Locke. Calls. Okay. Eight six suited for Tony G. Also calls. Daniel's attempt to thin the field pre-flop hasn't exactly worked out. Oh, Daniel. Can't believe you put me in this spot. Yo, you put in a bad spot right now, man. It's kind of what I do. It's a lot of money to call out of his own pocket. And so he folds. Oh, I really want to call it. If that flop, if that flop, if my flop come out, I'm just going to walk away and go side of her. <laughs> Ace, king, deuce on the flop. Lock checks top pair. Tony G checks. Daniel's looking at making a continuation bet on the button, hoping everyone missed. And that bet is 6,500. Locke's passive style still working out. His opponents keep betting into him when he has the best hand and when they don't have much of a chance of catching up. Phil calls. By just calling, he disguises the strength of his hand. Well, no outs. It's not good. Tony G out of the way as we now have two players to the turn. Ace of clubs, so make it trip aces for Locke. He checks. His hand improves. He checks, hoping Daniel will continue doing his bidding and betting for him. Daniel reaching for more chips. This time makes it 9,000 to go. Daniel obviously not betting for value, trying to get Locke to fold a king. Is Phil just Hollywood in this? He's actually trying to decide if Daniel will call a raise or if he should just call Daniel's bet. And he just calls. Violent call. Violent. Knock the ace out the park. Phil's got three aces. Doesn't look all that comfortable. The river card, the jack of diamonds. And lock checks yet again. At this point, Daniel's raise pre-flop fired on two streets. Phil Lock would not mind having a cheap showdown. Daniel's going to fire again, it looks like. 28 grand this time. Big third barrel. Oh, and you know I can't fold, too. That's what's so sick. Pre-flop, I was like, does he have two kings? But I can't fold, can I? I have too big a hand. I mean, you would do that with ace king, ace deuce, ace jack, pocket kings, just about everything. I might as well have just a solo king, but I don't. I have a nice, a very nice hand. I'm not strong enough to fold. I wish this happened earlier instead of later. I feel like I'm paying you off. I feel like I'm paying you off, but I don't know if I can fold. I don't think I can fold, Daniel. Daniel, son, me not strong. Me not know how to fold. That was like a combination of Yoda and the Karate Kid. You knew I was calling the river when you bet nine. I mean, this is a chance for me to be, I could make a hero fold. I know I'm not gonna fold. Pocket deuces, maybe? 30,000. There's the call. Oh, you wanted to fold so bad, too. You got it. I <laughs> Just do it, too. Oh, the Yoda bro. kid makes the right decision. Much? What do you want? I mean, you give the speech, you just pick it up. I don't I mean, know. I, You're a tough man to bluff. I mean, when he bets the river, I know that he has it because he knows I'm going to call, so he can't yeah, bet unless he has exactly it. That's exactly what I was thinking. That's when you're too. a champion, you just like that. You induce, induce the bluff. Bill rakes in a pot of almost 100 grand. He's supposed to have me beat. In a cash game, I'm beat there every time I call. So we've got four players on the flop. And they're the four most aggressive players at this table so far. We could see some chips get in the middle here. Deuce, four, six, two spades. Daniel's flop top pair with sixes. However, Phil Locke has flopped gut shot straight and the nut flush draw. Even though he doesn't have a made hand yet, he is the statistical favor to end up with the best hand. Phil Helmuth has checked over to Daniel. Makes it 6,500 to go. When you hit top pair with sixes, there are any number of scare cards that can come off on the turn. Daniel's betting here to protect his hand by thinning the field. With a draw this strong, Phil Locke is not going anywhere. Makes the call. Tony G folds. Tony, why do you get us some trouble like this? It's always somebody else's fault, isn't it, Phil? Now down to two players on the turn. Ace of hearts. Now, Chris, I did forget to mention the ever-present top pair draw. <laughs> 
Locke now has the lead. Daniel looks like he's ready to fire away again. A bet of 14,000. He obviously doesn't have a good read on the strength of Locke's hand. Now, even though Locke is a weak kicker, it's unlikely he'd fold to one bet after making top pair here in the turn, not to mention all the draws he still has. You're very chatty most of the time. <coughs> right now you're in silent mode. Kind of scared get, a little bit. Can I get the chatter to come in? What do you want me to say exactly? I'm a little scared, to be honest with you. It's like a lot of bad things could happen here. You could have me beat. You could get there. You could bluff me. All that kind of stuff. You can have ace five of spades. You can have six four. You got like two eights, I guess. Or exactly. <laughs> Phil's trying to get a read on Daniel. Daniel's bet into him twice. Even though he's a strong draw, Phil's hand is in jail to any bigger or smaller ace. There's the call. Daniel can't be too comfortable with that. We are off to the river. Ten of diamonds. Neither player's hand improves here. Daniel's been the aggressor all along. He can only win this hand now with a bluff. He makes it 25-5 to go. So you have six deuce. Or ace ten of spades. You have ace ten of spades. <laughs> it's so random. Ace four of spades. That's what you got. Ace four of spades. I'm such a fish. I'm a fish. God, I'm a fish. Why do I want to call you? Because I'm a fish. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Daniel's fired three times in this hand, this time for 25,000. Locke's got one pair and a weak kicker. An easy call to make for a bad player, a tougher call for a good one. You know I have something, but you know I'm tight. I feel like I'm being just totally owned. He makes the right call. The pair of sixes. Wow. That's good. You had the ace of spades in. Yep. Good in. Jack nine of diamonds for Phil Locke. Raises to 800. Min raise. The businessman with queen four makes the call. I would say that maybe Perkins is steaming, but he plays almost every hand, winning or losing. Clubs again for Helmuth. Ace four this time. Makes the call. And Dario's in. Phil's out of position, but it was a min-raised pot, and it's pretty common to see three guys all want to be in the pot with a rich fish. Uh, Perkins. Flop, deuce, queen, nine, rainbow. Check. Phil checks. Minieri checks. As does Locke. Gives up the lead. Well, we know what Perkins does when he's got nothing. Let's see what he does when he's got top pair. Bets 4,000. You've never seen me play with glasses? Why'd you look at me? I don't have a hand. I don't have a hand. I don't even bet. You you've never seen me with glasses before, have you? Yeah, we've had the big game. Uh, no glasses last time. Very strange for me to wear glasses. Is it on me? Yes. Sorry. Guess the hearing aid's next. <laughs> and Locke makes the call with middle pair. Heads up to the turn. Ace of diamonds. Both players pick up flush draws. A diamonds bad news bears for Locke. Checks. That diamond draw is probably going to keep Locke in this pot, but it would be super unlocky to hit one. Perkins bets 15,000. Perkins has overbet the pot, which is why Phil may look a little confused. This is such a great spot for Perkins. And Locke's going to make the call. Pretty rare to see a pair in a flush draw versus a pair in a flush draw. Sick. Decent sized pot as we go to the river. Jack of hearts. Phil makes two pair. Oh, man alive did he just get lucky. He checks it. Perkins has overbet the pot twice, so it looks like Phil's just playing bluff catcher now. Board doesn't look so hot for Perkins' hand now either. I got a queen. That's a check. And Locke quickly shows him the suck out. Hey, you had a queen. I know. If I picked up a diamond, whatever. You're I'm going to lose. I have a queen. I well, I'm going to win if I miss. If I get a, a three of clubs in the river, guess who's barreling?
Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Oh, my lord. Oh, I'm begging for the diamond. I'm like, bring me a diamond so I can stack him. Oh, my God. You donkey. Now I'm Steve. Now you got me. I'm buying in another 50. By the way, I only won that fuck because he got me, Steve. That would call, I would fold the turn sometimes, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to win the... Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm I can't 50. pull the turn, but he bet a lot and whatever, and I was Donkey. Singing, I can't help myself. To the flop, 10 ace, 3 rainbow. Martinez with top pair, Phil with middle pair. Martinez checks. <laughs> That's a Phil lock? Check. Like I'm going to bet that. that. Like I'm going to fall into that trap. A little pot control from the cannon. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Max's ace is still best. Now he's got outs to a wheel. He bets 1,100. How much, 11? <laughs> That's a trap I can be in. Lock does put in 1,100 more while he's behind. Ace of spades on the river. That second ace hitting isn't so great for Phil. And Max checks his trips. Now I got to get out of the trap. <laughs> Give me that special club, what's it called, a sand wedge? 2,200, I guess. That's a trap getting out. Perfect shot. Lock fires 2,200. Maybe not. Maybe I need another sand wedge. I would also like a club sandwich. <laughs> Martinez. Max is actually pretty lucky Phil bet here. And raises to 5,600. Pretty thin spot for a raise. Max actually has the worst ace possible. All right. My thinking here is this is not a call in the long run. Correct. But why do I not believe him? The problem is if I call and I'm wrong and you win the money, then I'm going to believe you for the rest of the night. 149 hands where I believe you, and that's going to hurt. We, we all love you for getting us the information, though. <laughs> Cause I want to see the hand too. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm I'm paying him off. I don't know how much is it. He's got a pair of jacks. Four five. Ace four. Ace four. Easily the most steamed I've ever seen, Phil. The cannon's gonna take our first pot of the night, worth fifteen thousand eight hundred. You know what? I'm steamed. I'm reloading. Fifty more. Seven six four. Locks got two pairs. Solomon with an over pair. I checked the sick one. Pretty gross flop for Rick. 5,000. I raised the sick one. Great spot for a check raise. Lock raises to 12,200. How much is that? The board is super wet, so Phil can make this look like a draw. You don't have to call, sir. You can just let it go. And there are a lot of action killers that could hit the turn. Solomon calls. What are you doing, kid? Rick's also got outs to a gut shot. Rick Solomon, what are you doing? Rick, what do you want, kid? Tell me what you want. <laughs> you want a specific card, kid? I should just shut up, I think. Turns the three of spades. And there's the action killer. How much more do you have, son? 60K. 63,000. Despite the potential action killer, something tells me these guys like to gamble with each other. I'm going to bet 42,400. Because that's a good number. And I've used it in the past. There's no time to use the things we've learned from the right, I'm all in. Solomon's all in. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wah. How much more is it? Getting six and a half to one. <laughs> How much more? That's... This is a great show. <laughs> I think I'm going broke. Phil might think Rick's got a five, but he can't fold. It's 21 more? That's it? 21,100. Almost as if the gods have decided to torture me. Keeping it nice and small. Wow. All right, give me four yellows. Lock calls Rick's all in. Rick Solomon, want to run it three times? Do what you got. <laughs> well, I've, I got a kind of hand where running it three times would be fun for me. Well, you show me your hand, I'll talk about it. Will you show me yours? Yeah, I promise. Uh, I got two pair. Oh, you're good. OK, great. Now you want to run three it three times. times. Yeah, three, three times. times. Three times, buddy. How about four times, but the third time doesn't count? <laughs> nice hand. Three times, Or just right? three times? Yeah, three times. No fives! We're going to see three rivers with the winner taking a third of the pot each time. I would be happy with that. I mean, you have to get an eight or a five. <laughs> you know? Phil wins it twice? Uh, I don't yeah. know the math. Yes, you do. It has to I be. I can tell you the math. That's, That's the most likely. You're the most likely. The, the most likely thing to happen is you win two out of three. Has to be. That has to be the case. It's more likely than him winning two out of three. You can just and more likely than you winning three out of three. Huh? No, I mean, yeah, he's favorite, so oh. he's got to be at least. Now, with two all to that three. talk, they've jinxed it. You're winning both or one for sure. All this fills <laughs> a favor. How can he lose it? Oh, yeah. He needs five, four, three, eight, yeah? I don't think I'm winning any. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to win one. Fills the favorite as we see the first river. King of spades. And Locke wins a third of the pot. I symbolically want to show what's going on. This is mine. No matter what comes, at least I got one. That's you. Power card, too. It's a king. It's a good high card for strength, you know, to meditate on strength. 
If it comes, I'm going to be strong. We can take it. Shit, it's going to happen. Okay, bring it out already. Statistically, Rick should win at least one of these. River number two, ten of spades. That's two. Okay, we got to give one. Lock wins again. Solomon. This wouldn't be fair. I'm not getting any. I just want to, you know, be near you if it comes and be near you if it doesn't come. Oh, That's eight. the right idea. Yeah, look at that. It's even 40% of a straight flush right here forming. So there's power strength. But I'm still okay if I lose because you don't Can always make sense. Can we get the misery over with it? <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> oh, sh can Phil Locke go three for three? Yes, he can. Ten of diamonds on the river. He scoops. I'm buying him for 50. Nice, yeah. And he wins almost $160,000. Locke, how do you do it? How does he do it? Looks like a good bluff. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Nothing. It's weird. I thought I was value betting when I bet the turn 40 something too. But then when I was calling, I was like six. So I was like, wow, why did I step into this?